Okay. Now what happens at this end? Well, why not just put an inverter for A and an inverter for B. Same thing for D and E. And what you get here is this is just an easy way of uh, getting, you know, basically what is this mess of NANDs connected together? What does it yield? Well, right here is going to be not A or not B. That's our negative or. This right here is going to be C and not A or not B. Now let's start back over here. What's, gonna, what's this one going to produce? Well, this is our negative or still, so it's not D or not E. And then it's anded together with F. And because we lost that bubble in there, we don't have to worry about any of the, uh, any of the negations. This whole thing, this whole level here, acts as an or. It's just a straight up or. So it's C and not A or not B, ORed with this guy right here, F, not D, or not E. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty easy. Um, just using those, basically the bubbles cancel each other out. Okay, um, let's try this example right here. Uh, implement this logical function, A and B and C, or not D or not E is equal to X. Okay, so think about it. We can put a triple input A, B, C, NAND and put that into our negative OR, right? Because if you think about this, that leg, these bubbles would cancel each other out. And our negative OR, if we remember right, is still our NAND. That's equal to a 3 input NAND. They're equivalent. Negative ORs and, and NANDs are equivalent. That's going to cancel out to B. A, B, C. It's going to look like that. But now we've got to account for our not D and are not E. Well, you already have with those negation bubbles right there. D, E. Pretty cool, huh? And in our circuit over here, what that would look like is two inverters on those lines right there. And just to check what's coming out here, well, it's not A and B or C and C. And what's coming out here? Well, it's not, not A, B, and C or not D or not E. We know that double negations will cancel each other out. A, B, C or not D or not E. Is this correct? Is this correct with what we're trying to implement? Yes, it is. A and B and C, or not D, or not E. Same thing over here. What's coming out? A, B, C. What's coming into this thing right here? It's A, B, C, or not D, or not E. Not too hard. It's just the whole concept is using the negative OR and the NAND appropriately. And just think about using the output, always make that a negative OR and then alternate. NAND, negative OR, NAND, negative OR, on and on and on. Ultimately, what do you get? Sums of products, SOP. Using the NAND implementation, you should get product with a sum uh, added to another one, added to another one. Okay, let's talk about NOR gates and using them in combinational logic, which, if you think about it, might just so happen to be equal to a product of sum.